What's up my fellow household appliances? Welcome to episode four of my learning piano from scratch journey. I have to say, I'm feeling good. I feel like we've come a long way from the first episode. I know all my major scales. I'm working on my minor scales right now and working on chords. I've already released like two songs that are just me playing the keys, like not even any drums in them. And the response has been great from you guys. You guys have been super supportive, super helpful. It's been a blast and I feel like I've gone up at least like 10 levels as a producer. Just by learning the major scales, I've already leveled up so much, bro. Now, when I first announced the series, so many people were commenting, bro, you gotta try melodics, try melodics. It's like a guitar hero for learning keys or learning finger drumming and all this stuff. It really gamifies the experience. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, that sounds fire. So melodics actually reached out to me, hooked me up with their software, and are sponsoring this video. So I'm about to try it right now for the very first time, give you my first impressions and find out, is this really the funnest way to learn piano? Like, does it truly gamify the experience? Cause I don't know about you, I love Guitar Hero, bro. That stuff was fun. This seems like some next level stuff right here. So without further ado, let's try it out. All right, so apparently the setup is just plug and play. If we go to settings, you, as you can see, my keyboard is just there. I didn't do anything special. And then obviously like your audio interface, you know, all that kind of stuff seems super simple. Here's home. You got some songs, the Beatles, Lady Gaga, Poker Face. That's a banger, you know what I'm saying? Kendrick Lamar, Humble. So they got some bangers that you can choose. Let's see, they got Guided Path, starting with C's, okay. Oh, this is something I never learned yet. There's somebody in the comments that's always telling me that I need to get rid of these. What are these called? Handles, handle, handlebars? shoulder rest I don't know but yeah I'll listen to them this feels high let's see let's move this down a little okay that's cool so they have like guided classes or guided paths you hit explore there's a bunch of different courses here oh warm up to scales maybe I should try that minor moods gotta love the minor vibes okay dope damn but I'm not a beginner but I feel like I should start with the beginner things just to get the gist you know what i'm saying like i don't know they, oh they got halo by beyonce i definitely want to learn that beyonce is literally my wife's pride and joy bro <laughs> progress you can see your progress so elephant in the room or you probably won't even notice but it says i'm level three apparently like in high school i tried melodics probably for like a day or something like that so this is still my first impression but let's let's get into it let's go to the guided one and let's just start with whatever this is. Hit the space bar to start, restart at any time. So we got like a metronome and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Create a melody. Sure, bro. Let's go. I'm ready. No, I wasn't paying attention. Damn. Two stars. See, this is why I'm starting with the easy stuff because I got too comfortable and I messed up. Dude, this is fun. This is fun as hell. I'm not going to lie. Explore C to G. Let's do it. Left hand, right. In melodics, blue means left hand, yellow means right hand. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Damn, I should have started with this, honestly. See the numbers below the keyboard? Use those fingers. Oh, so that down there. Okay. Can we talk about these beats are actually kind of banging, bro? You got that on lock. Bet, 100% all perfect. Dang. Yeah, honestly, I'm going to do this every single day. We just started, but I'm definitely dedicating my life to doing this every day, bro. Now break the notes C, D, E. One, two, three, three, four. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I like it. 
I get it. <laughs> yeah, I like this, man. What the heck? This ain't for everybody, though. Obviously, like, this is for me, 100%. Yo, hell yeah, dude. Come on now, five day trophy, perfect to the max. Let's go. Thumb to pinky. We level four, baby. We level four, baby. We just leveled up. Let's start with a song. This is a lesson that they kind of recommend on their guide. Let's do this Jay-Z song, bro. Beginner bass line? Sure, let's try it. <laughs> Yeah, that was, you know, that was too easy. But some people don't have rhythm. Some people are actual beginners to music in general. Okay, clearly we can move on to some more advanced stuff. So let's try to learn a song. Let's do this Beyonce song. Oh, is that all it is? Okay, I guess I'm actually not a beginner. What grade am I? Am I grade two? Baseline, baseline, bass, baseline, beginner melody. No, I can do melodies all day. All right, let's 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 go all the way to the end. Grade 15, melody and chords. Let's do it. We doing it. We doing Halo, melody and, whoa. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so that's grade 11. I'm definitely not grade 11. Okay, let's go back to courses, maybe. Crafting chord progressions. That's where I'm at right now, I think. Okay, Gazelle, major keys. Okay, so now we're doing left hand in the mix. All right, yeah, it's getting, this is something that's tough for me. Check out practice mode to slow down and loop tricky parts of a lesson. Nice, if you turn on auto BPM every time you do a successful run through, the tempo will automatically rise by five BPM, that's sick. Once you're ready, switch back to performance mode to run through the step for real. You can only pass steps for lessons in performance mode. Ready to give it a shot? Yeah, I mean, that's awesome. Oh, that actually hurt my hand, bro. Okay, so after using melodics for a while, I finally have a good feel for how it's going to be utilized in my piano learning journey. So here are five key things I've taken away from using it so far. Number one, it's just a super fun learning experience, bro. Like honestly, this is the funnest way to learn piano on your own. Like it doesn't really feel like practice. I kind of just feel like I'm vibing out, playing a game or just playing along and just having fun. And I really wish I started with this because not only is it fun, it also feels like the best alternative to like in-person lessons. Cause when you're just on YouTube, there's a lot of things you might miss, but like, as you saw earlier in the video, it showed me like how I was supposed to sit. It showed me like how my fingers should be on and all types of things like that, that are built into these lessons. And it's like a solid curriculum, like you're really at a school. So if you can't afford the in-person lessons and the YouTube thing really isn't for you, this is it, honestly. <laughs> Number two will be motivation through gamification. 
So the game-like aspects of Melodics is like a game changer for me because it feels like it's gonna motivate me to be more consistent with it. Like seeing that I can level up and have like daily goals and all these different things, I don't know about you guys, but that is something that motivates me. Like I saw that there was daily warmups and I'm like, okay, if I do this every day, it's like, oh, it's like I'm unlocking achievements or something like that. And if you're really like me, that's when you come up with like some kind of reward system for yourself. <laughs> like, oh, if I hit this level by this day, or if I do this many courses, you know, maybe I treat myself to a nice steak dinner. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's where my mind is. And also, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know if there's already something like this out there, but it would be super sick if you can like add friends, like, you know how Apple does it with the activity rings and you can kind of compete with friends, that'll be sick. Or maybe we should start our own kind of like, I don't know, Lo-Fi Dre University journey accountability group or something i don't know let me know in the comments if you'd be up for something like that we can all use melodics and just like show our progress and like level up and you know have a little competition going every now and then and by the way melodics did hook me up with a discount for you guys so use the code ldre-25 to get 25 percent off all of melodics plans number three will be identifying areas for improvement one thing i quickly realized is that i need practice in a lot of specific areas like my left hand weak my pinkies week like i was doing the daily warm-up where you go up and down up and down up and down or i'm doing certain chords where the proper fingering involves my pinky my middle finger my thumb and it's just like ugh, it's weak it hurts but i'm realizing like this is the kind of stuff you don't really learn on youtube when you're just trying to learn a song and i want to be good at this so i need to strengthen up these finger muscles my pinkies they need to go to work i need to be able to use both hands at the same time so doing these daily warm-ups and stuff like that is something that's really going to help with that number four great for all skill levels it seems like melodics has lessons for absolutely everyone even when i was trying some of the beginner ones they felt kind of boring but then i realized like okay this is for beginner beginners like i've been producing for over 10 years i know rhythm i got it but there are a lot of people that are just starting out they have trouble staying on tempo and stuff like that there are so many lessons where it's like you can literally go from knowing absolutely nothing about music at all and learning it within a couple of days you're already off to a good start learning some notes learning what the keys are everything and then it does seem to be some really advanced stuff you saw i got a little cocky and i i wanted to go ahead and then i ended up in a lesson that was like yo no way bro no way we need to go back and actually do this properly so it seems like i'll get use out of this for a very long time and last but not least stealthy music theory one of the best things about melodics is it teaches you music theory in a really stealthy, more digestible way. They're not presenting you with all this sheet music and scales and this and that. Like honestly, in the lessons, you're just kind of having fun, playing along, learning the notes, learning the chords, whatever. And by the end of it, you don't even realize that you just learned some next level music theory. It's kind of genius because music theory, the actual theory itself is probably the most daunting thing. And this kind of totally alleviates that. So yeah, overall, this video being sponsored or not, I highly recommend Melodics. And here's the new plan, because you know, every episode in this piano journey, I'm kind of switching up the plan by the new lessons I learned, you feel me? In the last video you saw, I learned like the major scales by watching TV. And I still think that for me is the most effective for stuff like that when it comes to just straight muscle memory. So I think what my goal is now is you know i'm still going to learn the minor scales and like all the chords within the scales but i'm going to use melodics as just a daily practice in the beginning for me i thought the hardest part for me to learn piano was just scheduling time 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 you know what i'm saying so with this i can feel confident that i can put melodics on once i get in my studio first thing i do throw on melodics pull up the daily warm-up pull up one of the lessons in the course and do at least one to two things every single day. And I'm sure that's gonna leave me better off than not doing that. So that is my new goal. Still gonna learn the minor scales while watching TV and stuff, but as a daily habit, I'm gonna be trying to use Melodics every single day. Again, if you wanna check it out, don't forget to use my discount. It's on the screen right here. The link will also be in the description. And in the next episode, 
I kind of want to break out the Apple Vision Pro and see what they got on there now. I haven't used it in ages and since I'm watching TV and learning or using melodics and learning, I feel like I could start using my Apple Vision Pro and integrating it into this series to get my money's worth. So maybe that'll be it. But if you have any ideas for the next episode, let me know in the comments. And that's about it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.